Tice, can you help us with this transmission? Put shadows. <laughs> Can you bench press this? <laughs> I probably couldn't even pick this up. Can anybody carry that over there? Or are we all four of us gonna do it? all four. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it actually wasn't too bad. I was all lead off. <laughs> Welcome back to another midweek upload. Today's video is going to be a collection of clips over the last few days. Um, it's going to include things like getting my flywheel machined, doing the engine mounts and transmission mounts, as well as resealing the diff. In Monday's video, what you're going to see is me pulling my turbo off for purpose of inspection and yeah, all that sort of turbo work stuff. And in next week's video, I will be taking my entire chassis down to Sublime Surfacing and I will be having whole engine bay uh, dry ice blasted in preparation for paint. Also in the video you're going to see a Calgary Flames lanyard. I'm definitely an Oilers fan, I just lost a bet. So if you guys enjoy this video please leave a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe below and we will see you on Monday. So I'm at Bell Engine Services, who does all the machine work for Triple S Motorsports. I'm here to drop off my flywheel. It's in pretty rough shape. A lot of um, hot spots and stuff that they're going to kind of resurface for me. So I'm going to get that done and then back to the shop. Well, I've got some circuit sports transmission and engine mounts that I'm going to go ahead and install. Just gotta pull those old terrible ones off first. So I've got the old transmission mount off and the new one on. Pretty simple, just kind of four nuts. Um, one here, one on the other side. And then the cross member is held to the mount by these two there. So put this in the parts washer, cleaned them all up, installed it. Now we got a nice solid polyurethane trans mount. No more transmission jumping around while I'm drifting and blowing input shafts and stuff like that, so it's gonna feel good.
So finished up the install of the engine mounts, circuit sports polyurethane, pretty straightforward. Just got the brackets all cleaned up in the parts washer and then kind of just threaded on the new mount. So pretty simple, trans and engine mounts are all done. So uh, I went ahead and resealed the diff today. Um, went ahead and rattled off the nut on there. Kind of marked it first so that we know it's going back in the same position counting the threads so we don't crush the washer got a little bit of help from Lido and Tyson with that pulled the old seal out which is right there um, greased up the inside of the seal And then kind of just hammered it in with a saw, um, an extension, and just a hammer. And then put the nut back on, basically right back in the same spot. And then did the two axle sides, so just popped the diff stubs out. Pulled the old seal out. Gee. There you go, easy. I, why, when is it the time I, I <laughs> you up? I always tell you the right way. <laughs> Ordered the new one, greased the inside, and then got a little bit of help from Lita with that one in terms of hammering it back in. So. Just made sure it sat nice and flat flush and put the stubs back in, pretty simple. So, should have a non-leaky diff now. Picked up the flywheel from Bell Engines. As you can see, they took off that much. Looks good. If you saw the condition it was in before, it looks a lot better now. Should bite real nice. in your life.